laser reveals ancient pyramids and canals hidden in the Amazon. Archaeologist Percy Harrison Fawcett dedicated his research to exploring South America and looking for a lost Amazonian city before he went missing in 1925. The expedition during which Fawcett went missing was on his search for Z, the name given to an ancient lost city he and others believed was tucked away in the jungles of Brazil. We never found out exactly how the quest for Z went. Did Fawcett find evidence of the city or not? While we may never be able to answer that question, we can indeed draw closer to finding out where cities may have fallen in the Bolivian Amazon. In 2022, scientists uncovered pyramids and canals sitting beneath the forests. Of course, the trees and greenery can obstruct an aerial view, though LiDAR technology has facilitated researchers' abilities to see through these trees and reveal hundreds of structures and settlements. These discoveries have overwhelmingly been found to have come from the Kasarabi culture of 500 to 1400 AD. LiDAR is a relatively new technological development that has proved to be invaluable in the field of archaeology up until this point. In this study, it allowed researchers to move through the dense rainforest and make the discovery of pyramids, canals, and what are seemingly town-like civilizations from long before invaders arrived. In this expedition, scientists from Germany and the UK used helicopters fitted with light detection to search through six regions of Bolivia. The Colorado State University archaeologist Chris Fisher said, This is the first of what I hope will be a huge series of studies that will blow the lid off of preconception about what pre-Hispanic polities looked like in the Amazon in terms of their complexity, size and density. The development of technology will continue to let us explore, discover and revolutionize our understanding, slowly changing the world as we know it. The Earth's shell has cracked and we're drifting on the pieces. The stability of our planet comes from the strength of our tectonic plates. Despite our quest for knowledge, there is still an endless amount we do not know or understand about how the tectonic plates work. It's only within the past century that we have uncovered anything concrete about them, leaving much information yet to be discovered. Scientists believe that our planet's outer shell has long since shattered and that the plates we live upon are moving about over the boiling liquid rock beneath. Believers of this theory explain that it makes sense due to the unpredictable nature of our planet's movements, mountain structures and sudden volcanic eruptions. Scientists struggle to agree on a date when exactly the tectonic plates came into being. Particular groups of geologists argue it is a relatively recent phenomenon at about one billion years ago, whilst others claim it must have existed as long as the Earth. A geophysicist from Yale University, Yun Karinaga, has stated in the 1960s and 70s when people came up with the notion of plate tectonics, they didn't think about what it was like in the distant past. People were so busy trying to prove plate tectonics by looking at the present situation, or were caught up applying the concept to problems in their own field. The origin issue is a much more recent debate. Venus, considered the evil twin of Earth by some, has been the center of geophysicists' fascination in hopes of investigating Venus's own tectonic situation to illuminate the knowledge of our own. Unfortunately, and most curiously, despite our planets sharing similar terrains and sizes, Venus lacks tectonic plates. Is this another thing that makes Earth special? Geophysicist Aubrey Zirkel of the University of St. Andrews said, We need plate tectonics to sustain life. If there was not a way of recycling material between mantle and crust, all these elements that are crucial to life, like carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus and oxygen, would get tied up in rocks and stay there. Evidently, most planets do not experience shifting continents or tectonic activity beneath their surface, but recent studies suggest life on Earth could not have survived without it. Ancient documents prove humans held some notion of shifting continental drifts even then, meaning the tectonic plates have been around for at least as long as humanity has existed. It's thought that Earth has nine primary outer sections, with six smaller segments of oceanic tectonic plates that ride upon the continental tectonic plates. In other words, it's like shifting machinery or clockwork affected by magma from the Earth's core. The oceanic plates move up and down due to the extreme heat pressure, making the mantle and crust of the Earth move about 
and sometimes crash together, causing natural disasters such as tsunamis or earthquakes. They shake and quake and appear, on paper, to be unstable, yet many geologists believe they provide the planet with the stability it requires for life to thrive by balancing the planet as a whole and letting gases and materials recycle and keep the planet's temperature maintained. We may never know the truth behind tectonic plates. Aliens could be using Dyson spheres to harvest black hole energy. It is hard to discuss the enormous unknowns and possibilities concerning the almost incomprehensible expanse of our solar system without considering the possibility of as yet undiscovered alien life forms. Although UFO sightings and theories of Area 51 government cover ups fall into the category of conspiracies, scientists studying the limitless vastness beyond our Milky Way galaxy must consider the very possibility that there could be alien life forms in other galaxies, and that these life forms may be much more societally and technologically developed than we are. One of the propositions of advanced alien technology that could feasibly exist are Dyson spheres. The theoretical idea, proposed by Freeman Dyson, involves a structure encircling a star with multiple orbiting platforms to capture and redirect the energy emitted from the star in order to use its power. Recently, astronomers from National Tsinghua University in Taiwan began to think about these Dyson spheres and their potential applications for harvesting energy from black holes, which are some of the brightest objects in space as far as energy radiation is concerned. The astronomers realized that it was highly feasible and practical to build a Dyson sphere around the entrance to a black hole and proposed that more advanced alien life forms may have already done so. The principles behind why a Dyson sphere is more practical for a black hole than a star, as far as energy production is concerned, deals with the fact that black holes are smaller than stars but manage to contain an amazing amount of energy in that small area. This energy affects particles surrounding the black hole, which heat up due to friction, and bursts of energy frequently shoot from pores in the hole. It would be cheaper, material-wise, to build a Dyson sphere around a black hole due to its smaller size, and the potential energy production would be up to 100,000 times greater than that of a star. And although aliens might not be using the exact principles of Dyson spheres, the scientists speculated that they might use some forms of satellites instead to harvest X-ray energy in a similar concept as solar panels. Because of the large amount of energy that would be redirected from a structure harvesting energy from black holes, there would be a definitive ultraviolet or infrared energy signature, which earthbound scientists might be able to see from the Milky Way and may already have been recorded by satellites. With this new possibility of signatures of alien life forms, the scientists interested in pursuing this theory must now go back through records and begin looking for such telltale radiation signatures. Perhaps confirmation of alien life forms is coming sooner than we think. Mariana Trench, deepest ever subdive, finds a plastic bag. Researchers today are finding objects that expose mankind's far reaching impact on the ecosystem, and one of these was recently made at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Victor Vescovo, a 53 year old financier and former Navy Reserve captain, travelled approximately seven miles to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. The dive, which surpassed a record set by Titanic filmmaker James Cameron in 2012, revealed sad proof of humanity's detrimental impact on the planet. The divers found plastic bags and wrappers at the ocean's deepest depths. Vescovo and his team identified four new species while traveling 35,853 feet below the surface, which could help throw light on Earth's enigmatic origins. Vescovo said the following, I believe that going to extremes is a natural propensity of man, and I also believe that wanting to push ourselves to our limits is a beautiful component of our nature, which has helped us get to where we are now as a species. Although oceanographers Don Walsh and Jacques Picard first investigated Challenger Deep in 1960, this is the first on-camera evidence of what lies beneath the Pacific. The goal of the project is to make sonar mapping of Earth's deepest locations, such as the Puerto Rico Trench in the Atlantic Ocean, the South Sandwich Trench in the South Atlantic, 
the Java Trench in the Indian Ocean, and the Malloy Deep in the Arctic Ocean. Vescovo continued with the following. I crisscrossed all over the bottom looking for various wildlife, perhaps unique geological formations or rocks, man-made artifacts, and yes, trying to see if there was an even deeper position than where the Bathyscaph Trieste went back in 1960. Giant prawn-like amphipods and bottom-feeding sea cucumbers were among the findings found aboard the limiting factor, the world's first titanium-hulled two-person submersible to go this deep. Also, the scientists want to examine the deep water critters for plastic buildup. While it is impossible to say how far those plastics drifted to end up in one of the world's lowest points, our oceans are quickly becoming giant trash cans. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch, an island of garbage the size of Texas in the open ocean between Hawaii and California, continues to add more man-made waste to its expanding surface area. Despite all of those dives, humanity has only seen about 5% of the ocean. Scientists are being pushed to develop new deep-sea research methods as part of a new XPRIZE initiative. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.